Okay, so now we learn the decimal representation of rational numbers. Okay, so the de decimal representation of rational numbers. Let's take an example of a rational number is 7 by 4. So when we divide the numerator of a rational number, so this is the numerator and this is the denominator. So when we divide the numerator of a rational number with its, de with its denominator, we get the decimal form. So come on, let's divide and find out. So you have 7 which you're going to divide by 4. So 4 ones are 4. 3 remains down. Then what do you have over here is 4. Uh, so take a point over here. Take a 0. 4 7s are 28. You have 2 which remains down. So take a 0 here. 4 5s are 20. 0. Remainder is 0. Your answer over here is 1.75. Now let's take another example. Say 7 by 6. Again, let's divide this. Okay, 6 ones are 6. 1 remains down. Now, what happens is, take a point here and take a 0 here. Again, 6 ones are 6. 4 remains down. 10 minus 6 is 4. Take a 0 here, 6, 6 is 36. Again, if you take 30 from 36, uh, 10 minus 6 is 4. So, again, 4 remains down. Take a 0. Again, 6 will come here. 6, 6 is 36. So, basically, again, you get a 4. So, if you go on doing it, you're going to get 6, 6, 6 over here. And here, what is going to happen is this line is going to continue. So, this is not going to stop. So what we do is we stop the answer here because there's no point in doing it. It's going to be uh, repetitive. So we write the answer as 1.16 with a dot on top. That means this particular number 6 is going to be repeated. So when you write the answer, it's going to be 7.6 to be written in decimal form is 1.16 with a dot on top. Now the difference between both the sums is, like see here, you got a remainder has 0 and the sum ended. It got terminated over here. Here the sum did not end. Sum did not end means here you did not get 0. This 6 went on repeating. So this is called as terminating and this is called as non-terminating. That is non-terminating recurring. It's reoccurring. So here, this is the terminating form. It's terminated over here. And here, it is non-terminating non recurring decimal form. You're terminating decimal form. I hope this is clear to you, the terminating and the non-terminating decimal form. Uh, you have an example in your book. That example is of 9 upon... 37, the first example. So when you solve a sum like this, when you are asked to write this particular decimal uh, rational number in decimal form, for that what you do is first see the denominator and write its table besides. Okay, now here we have 37. I know it's difficult to remember 37 times table, but you can work it out and first write it down. So 37 ones are 37. 37 into 2 is equal to 74, 37 into 3 is equal to 111, 37 into 4 is equal to 148, 37 into 5 is equal to 185, 37 into 6 is equal to 223, 37 into 7 is equal to Equal to 259, 37 into 8 is equal to 296, 
37 into 9 is equal to 333 37 into 10 is equal to 370 okay now once you have your table on the side this becomes easier for smaller numbers you can do it directly but for bigger numbers you write the table on the side okay or else when you're dividing when you're doing you can do it that time also but i i feel this is better so okay so we start writing this decimal form uh, this rational number in decimal form so what you do is 37 you divide 9 by 37 so since 9 doesn't go we have to put 0 and point first so 37 0 is a 0 your 9 comes down as it is now take a 0 here it becomes 9 since you put a decimal point you can take a 0 now 37 See, 2s are 74, 3s are 111. So, I feel 2s is better for us, 74. So, minus, here you get 8. 10 minus 4 is 6. And 8 minus 7 is 1. So, now 16 doesn't go. It's small and this is big. So, put a 0 here again. So, what happens is now 37, if you take 4s uh, you get 148. 5s is 185. So, we'll go for 4s so, 4s are 148. Subtract, what do you get? Uh, 5. So, basically you get 10, it's 2. It's uh, 5 minus 4 is 1 and 0. So, 12 is a remainder. Now, you put a 0 again. So, now 30 is 120. 120, so where should I look? Either 111. Yeah, 111 is better because 148 is a higher number. So, we do 3 is 111. So, you subtract 111. So, it's 10, 1. Basically, it's 9. 9. See, again, we are reaching back to square 1. We started with 9. Now, again, 9. If we continue, we are again going to get the same number again. For example, see, put 90. Then again, how many is 74? 2 is 74. So, again, this, this process is going to continue. So, we just stop it here. We stop it at this particular because, again, 243 will come. You just go on doing it. 243 will repeat itself because, again, again, you're going to get 9 after, uh, say, particular 4 steps. So, how do we write this? 9 upon 37 is equal to 0 0.243. Since 243 is repeating, we put a bar on top, okay, because it is re repeating. Now, let's take an other example of a rational number, say, minus 103 upon 5. When, when you have to divide 103 by 5, you don't need to write the table here because 5 is an easy number, easy table. I mean, you, you know it. So, better, it's you can do it like that also without writing. But here, the problem is of a minus sign, negative sign. Remember, let that negative sign be there as it is. Don't bother to take it in the division. We'll, we'll take it at the end when we write the answer. So, let's divide first. Okay. 5, 103. So, 5, 2 is 10. Okay. 0. 3 comes down. 3, we, 3 is smaller than 5. So, 5, 0 is 0. You have 3. Then you can take a decimal point here. Now you can add a 0 in. Okay, so we had to take 5 zeros as 0. Then we can put a decimal point. Now we can take a extra 0 here. So 5, 6 is a 30. Oh. So now when it's 0, there's nothing left. The remainder is 0. The answer gets over over here. So your minus 103 upon 5, the answer is 20.6 but since it is minus you will write minus 20.6 i hope this is clear to you and now you've understood how to write a rational number in decimal form thank you